Hi, today I wanted to uh, talk about a number of frequently asked questions along with their answers regarding California's executive branch. So for those who are not familiar, I've put together some questions and answers on the most common queries I get regarding California's executive branch of state government. So the first is what power is granted by the constitution to our governor? The supreme executive power of the state is vested in the governor. When is the governor elected? The governor is elected every fourth year at the same time and places as members of the assembly are. When does the governor take office? The governor takes office on the Monday after January 1st, following the election. What are the requirements to be elected governor of California? The governor must be a voter who has been a citizen of the United States and a resident of this state for five years immediately preceding the governor's election. Is the governor subject to term limits? Yes. The governor may not serve more than two terms in office. Does the governor have to make an annual report to the legislature? Yes, the governor has to report each calendar year on the condition of the state and may make recommendations. Who fills a vacancy in a statewide office? The governor may fill a vacancy in office by appointment until a successor qualifies. Can the governor reorganize state government? Yes, the governor can assign and reorganize functions among executive officers and agencies and their employees, but not the other elected statewide officers and agencies administered by those statewide elected officers. Who is the commander in chief of the state's militia? The governor is commander in chief and the governor may call the militia into action. Are there any conditions placed on the governor to grant a reprieve, pardon or commutation? Nope. The only provision is the governor can use any conditions that the governor deems proper in making those decisions. Is there any limitation on the governor's power to grant a reprieve, pardon, or commutation? Yes. First, it can only occur after sentencing has taken place. Second, it does not apply in cases of impeachment. And third, the governor may not grant a pardon or a commutation to a person who has twice been convicted of a felony, except upon the recommendation of a majority of our seven member Supreme Court. What are the qualifications for the Lieutenant Governor of California? The Lieutenant Governor must have the same qualifications as the Governor. What is the role of the Lieutenant Governor in the legislature? She or he is President of the Senate, but has only a casting vote. When does the Lieutenant Governor become Governor? The lieutenant governor becomes the governor of the state when a vacancy occurs in that office. Then when does the lieutenant governor become acting governor? That occurs uh, during an impeachment, the governor's absence from the state, or other temporary disability of the governor. Who is the chief law officer in the state? It is the attorney general. What are the duties of the attorney general under the constitution? It's the AG's duty to see that the laws of the state are uniformly and adequately enforced. Also, the Attorney General has direct supervision over every district attorney and sheriff in all matters pertaining to the duties of their respective offices. May a statewide elected officer receive any income from a lobbyist or lobbying firm? No. Do state officers receive a salary? Yes, they do, and that salary is set and adjusted by the Citizens' Compensation Commission. Can a state officer be paid an honorarium for giving a speech or writing an article? No, no state officer is allowed to accept any honorarium. Can a state officer accept a gift? Yes, up to the specified statutory limit. However, the acceptance of the gift cannot create a conflict of interest. Those officers are also prohibited from accepting a gift of $10 or more in a calendar month from a lobbyist. And there are reporting obligations for gifts valued at $50 or more. Can a state officer be compensated for appearing before or taking action for someone at a state agency or a state department? No. 
They cannot knowingly accept any compensation for appearing, agreeing to appear, or taking any other action on behalf of another person before any state government board or agency. There are some limited exceptions to that rule. And then finally, is there a revolving door limitation that applies to state officers? Yes. A state officer cannot engage in paid lobbying of the executive branch for 12 months after she or he leaves office. This also applies to a secretary of an agency or the director of a department who is appointed by the governor of the state of California. So those are my frequently asked questions and answers for the executive branch of state government here in California.